Hello there, and here we are on day 163 in the Old Testament. We're in February the 10th, and uh, this is the end of the tragic story of um, David and his son Absalom. Absalom dies, David hears about it, and he is heartbroken. And on a human level, it shows us again uh, the kind of man that David is at his worst moments. Even though his son betrayed him, as we said before, um, has tried to kill him, uh, has killed members of his family. Uh, David is heartbroken and he says, Oh, my son Absalom, my son, my son Absalom, if only I had died instead of you. Oh, Absalom, my son, my son. And he's heartbroken that his son has died on, a, on one level, on a human level. If that isn't loving your enemies, I don't know what is. Uh, but there's something else that this speaks to me about, and that is Jesus, uh, because um, because David is a picture uh, of Jesus to come. And uh, there's David saying, oh, my son, Absalom, my son, my son, Absalom, if only I had died instead of you, even though you were trying to kill me. But there we have Jesus saying, oh, my children, my sons and my daughters. I have died instead of you. I died so that you might live, and you did kill me. Your representatives uh, put me on the cross, and I'm so glad that I died for you. And uh, this speaks uh, before Jesus comes. So much of the Old Testament whispers Jesus. It's prophetic about Jesus, and this is beautiful. Uh, this is this is this is David showing us what God's love is like, and and just as passionately as David, you understand this at the heart of a father. Oh, my son Absalom, you've gone. My heart is broken. Uh, I have want to believe, and I do believe, that my father in heaven is as passionate about me as David was about Absalom, even though. I've done bad things, I've sinned, I've broken his heart, I wandered away. He says, I died instead of you. That's how much I love you, so that I might not be separated from you again. This is the glory of the gospel. Let's rejoice in it. See you soon.